What's going on YouTube? Well, we are starting a brand new channel. Um, starting to uh, haul campers uh, next week, Monday. And uh, so I wanted to kind of get a channel going and uh, kind of go over everything that I go on with my journeys. Kind of answer some questions. Kind of just... Well, uh, essentially just really waste some time on my end. And maybe on your end, I don't know. Not really sure what all you guys have going on, but... Um, <clears throat> so I'm getting ready to uh, start next week, Monday. That's when I have orientation. And uh, I did this last year. And... Uh, it didn't work out the best that I wanted it to. And... However, now... Well, one of the reasons, I, sh I guess I should say, is the reason why it didn't work out was because uh, I wasn't able to uh, um, get all the right equipment at that time. Uh, I was missing a fifth wheel hitch. And uh, so now I I'm able to get the funding and I'm going to pick that up um, here next week, Monday, uh, right after my orientation. And, uh, so hopefully everything turns out and everything goes good. Um, at least that, that's the game plan. Um, so we'll see what happens. So this is a brand new channel. Um, you know, I, am going to try to make a, a vlog series just kind of on some of the trips that I go through, some of the campers that I haul and kind of go from there. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. I'm not doing this for money or anything else like that. Uh, I'm not gonna say who I'm uh, transporting with uh, just because I don't wanna cause any issues. Um, I'm in no way, shape or form being paid, endorsed or anything else like that from any of these companies. Um, so to uh, just kinda keep everything um, as, uh, I guess, sealed as possible, um, I won't be sharing any of that information, um, however, as far as the trips goes, the goods, the bad, um, you know, the ugly of it and everything else like that, um, I plan on kind of going over if you guys got questions or you guys are looking to, to get into this or whatever it may be, um, you know, feel free to uh, uh, leave a, a comment below and ask, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Um, I've been finding a lot of uh, videos out there for hot shots and expediters and stuff like that. Um, really haven't found anything for um, people hauling RVs, whether it's for, for money or anything else like that. So I kind of want to just kind of go over and and uh, just kind of makes you know some stuff for for you guys I, I guess um, and and hopefully you guys can get some knowledge out of this like I said I'm no in no way shape or form and I am I an expert at this um, like I said I did it for two months last year I uh, learned a lot and uh, in, in that short amount of time and uh, I'm looking forward to doing this again. Um, I've got a lot of high hopes for it, and I'm hoping that things turn out good. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me all right with this video. Uh, hopefully the, it's not shaky or anything else like that. I'm hoping I found a good uh, phone mount. Um, and uh, so hopefully things uh, will work out in that. This is just kind of an intro um, into what I was doing before and what I'm getting ready to do um, and so like I said I hope things work out uh, in the long run um, definitely nervous uh, as like I said I've tried this before and uh, like I said it just didn't quite didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to um, eventually I'll be kind of going over my my equipment and my truck and stuff like that I just I still got to get it cleaned out some. It's still kind of a mess. I got to get some things situated. Um, 
But for starters, if you guys are interested in doing something like this, um, you know, some of the mistakes that I've made in the past that, you know, I don't want to see anybody else make is that, uh, first off, if you guys don't have the money, or I should say this, if you guys don't have money set aside, um, or, you know, if this is like a sole income for you guys, I just ask that you guys, you know, make sure you guys have a cushion to fall back on in case something happens. Um, that was part of my big problem that I had last year uh, when I did this is that I thought I had the right time, thought I had the right funding, and uh, found out kind of the hard way of uh, what happened. So, like I said, we'll see what happens. Hopefully things work out and... Uh, Hopefully things uh, will go a lot better this year. One of the things that I struggled with last year uh, was that I didn't have a, a fifth wheel hitch. Uh, when I first started off, I should have. I didn't have the money for it. Um, the company that I leased to, which is the same company I'm going back to, um, the company that I leased to said they had enough runs to uh, um, get me going and uh, able to get myself a fifth wheel hitch. However, that did not work out. And for some reason, I'm not sure what exactly happened. Um, things kind of, you know, didn't pan out for me. Um, hit a really bad slow spot in May of last year, uh, which part of the reason was because I didn't have the actual fifth wheel hitch. If I would have had that, I probably would have been all right. Um, so if you guys get started into this, like I said, I, I highly recommend that you guys get a fifth wheel hitch right off the bat, as well as the bumper pull hitch. Um, it'll help you guys out in the long run. Uh, it'll make you guys more of a, a viable asset, uh, not only for yourself, but for the company that you uh, lease to. Um, I currently have my CDL Class A. Um, and that's another thing I, I suggest if you guys can get it great uh, if you have it and you kind of want to get out of the truck driving I, I, I strongly encourage you guys to not let that license go um, the uh, the camping side they, they pay a little bit more for um, if you guys have a CDL and you guys can take a CDL load and uh, I plan on going more into that in the future um, for right now I'm just kind of going over some of the basics um, so like I said equipment is definitely a must um, and definitely something that you know I strongly encourage you guys to get ahead of time before you guys start unlike I did now that's not to say that you guys can't do it, um, it I just found that it was a struggle for me uh, on getting campers and getting the loads that I needed. Um, like I said, the month of May, I, I mean, I, I think I was sitting almost every other week for a couple days. I mean, it was, for whatever reason, it was, it was, uh, pretty bad. I'm not sure, uh, what actually happened. And, uh, the funny thing is, is that, uh, last year I actually started on April 1st. This year I'm starting on April 3rd. The only reason why I'm starting on April 3rd is because I have military training coming up here on the 1st um, and 2nd. That's the only reason why I'm starting on the 3rd. Um, so it's actually pretty much right next to the uh, same time that I started last year. Uh, the only difference obviously is now is that I'll have more, uh, um, more available hitches for myself to uh, get uh, runs with and uh, hopefully staying busy. Uh, the next thing I want to kind of go over is uh, selecting the right style of, uh, of truck. Um, it, <laughs> I made the mistake. I went out, you know, and I got myself a 2013 Chevy Silverado. It's a 3500 one-ton dually. Um, you know, it's pretty much got everything except for the, the digital radio. Um, I mean, I've got... The rear window slides open. I've got leather seats. Comes with XM radio. 
We've got heated seats, it's all leather, uh, the whole nine yards. I mean, that's pretty much there. And uh, that uh, definitely didn't help out last year uh, with those payments and stuff. My, my payments are pretty uh, outrageous in my eyes. Um, and so I was able to kind of get them knocked down a little bit for now. Um, and so that kind of helped out a little bit. Um, but they're about ready to go back up to uh, the normal the normal range. So I'm gonna try to see if I can't get, get it knocked down for a little bit longer. Um, I'm getting ready to move. So anyways, like I was saying, um, as far as, as, as the truck goes, you know, these companies, you know, are asking for, you know, vehicles um, that are no older than 10 years old. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the company won't take you if you have something that's older than that. Um, they just want to make sure that the vehicle that you have is A, not only roadworthy, but B, is, isn't going to fall apart. I mean, you know, that's not to say if you go out and buy a brand new vehicle that you're not going to have problems. Um, I mean, I bought my vehicle with 89,000 miles on or 80, 80 some thousand miles on it. And after my third load, I was already having issues. Um, it, you know, so it all just kind of depends on, on what it is and what's going on and, and, and what you have. Uh, but if you guys can find a vehicle that can uh, either A, you guys can pay cash for, or B, where your truck payments aren't very high. My, my truck payment's 865 bucks a month. I mean, that's, that's outrageous for me. Um, and then, you know, you add in all my personal bills and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so, like I said, if you guys can find something that's not as long or that's not as expensive, or you guys can pay cash or, or do a, a big down payment on a truck, um, it's definitely worth it. Um, as far as the style goes, most companies require a three quarter uh, on up. Um, some guys prefer just doing the single axle. A lot of guys have dualies. There's some guys that have class eight trucks, which is like your semi trucks and trailers. Um, so it all just kind of depends on what your company uh, will take on and uh, how much you guys are really willing to spend and, and you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> Uh, some guys do pretty good in the semis uh, Some guys don't you know it, it all just kind of depends on how it works out and uh, The company they go to and stuff like that. So like I said, that's something that you guys definitely want to get uh, checking out uh, Make sure that the, the truck that you guys buy uh, You guys can essentially afford it um, Because there is going to be slow times in this industry usually is July and over the uh, winter uh, holidays, uh, things tend, the factories tend to shut down or slow down, and so the companies tend to get kind of slow. Um, that's kind of, for some reason last year the company I was with uh, slowed down in May for some odd reason. They weren't just they just weren't getting that many trailers in. They were their yard was pretty empty. Not right now, uh, their yard is like swamped from what I've been hearing. Um, and which is a good thing and hopefully it stays that way and continues that way you know just like with truck driving the good thing is there's companies everywhere um, the bad thing is if you're doing it like me as a sole income you know you got I got a family so I mean I've got little mouths to feed and, and a wife and, and stuff like that so you know it's definitely something where I'm gonna be having to kind of bust my butt to, to kind of get going and to get a rhythm down um, and kind of get going now some of the cons um, you know the, the pay in my opinion is not the best um, every company is different as far as what they pay uh, as far as I know almost every company that I've talked to or talked to the drivers on uh, they only pay loaded miles uh, so like one way so for instance, I went from Indiana to Monroe, Washington. It was like, I don't know, 2,200 miles or something like that. And, uh, you know, you only get, you know, so that was 2,200 miles out and 2,200 miles back. So essentially 4,400 miles. Um, I only got paid for that 2,200 miles. Um, I really didn't make anything just because I was you know having to make payments and stuff like that and bills are coming out and 
that was kind of towards the end of when when things kind of we started struggling a lot um, and things started slowing down um, I do have a backup plan right now if this doesn't work out um, which is also a good thing to have in you know in the back of your mind um, you know is to to have an escape route you know if if things don't work out and you absolutely have to back out whether you take a break or not uh, you can definitely do that um, one thing I wish I would have kind of done is I wish I would have never actually backed out of the company um, like I did meaning I actually quit the company uh, now I got to start the whole process over again um, and so that kind of takes some time whereas if I would have told them hey right now it's not working out you know I'm gonna back out for a little while um, and then you know we'll give it a shot if something else comes up uh, I didn't do that so now I've there's some fees and stuff that you guys got to pay every company is different as far as the fees goes but you have what's called an escrow key um, which essentially it's kind of like an insurance type deal um, they take about 10% of, of uh, your gross pay from every load uh, and and set it aside in case you get into an accident or damage a trailer or something happens where you're, you're at fault or whatever it may be um, they they take it out of that um, and then you just kind of fill it back up and that usually goes up to about fifteen hundred dollars every company's different uh, some are a thousand, some are two thousand, some are even three thousand. It, it all just depends on the company. Um, so, and then of course, you know, you got all your registration and, and uh, the plate fees and stuff like that. So, there's, there's a lot of stuff that comes out um, that uh, you know that you have um, that kind of just you know it, it can be a big headache. It can be kind of frustrating. Um, so what, once you get that paid off, you know, th then you're pretty much good. Then you're not paying as much money, you know, when you get done and you get that money back, you know, as long as you don't have any claims on you. Um, but it does take about 90 days for that to, uh, to happen. Um, and, uh, so <clears throat> like I was saying, as long as everything works out for you guys and everything turns out and, you know, this is something that you guys want to do. Um, you know, it, it's not bad. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it when I did it last year. Uh, it was, I loved traveling the country, loved seeing, you know, different places. Uh, I've been to a lot of states, a lot of places I like, a lot of places I don't like. Uh, no offense, uh, Montana, um, I think is probably one of the worst states that I've been through that I just absolutely do not like. Um, and I think it's just because it was so, such a long state, you know, it, it took me, I mean, granted, you got to follow DOT rules and regulations, so you can only drive 10 hours, well, 11 hours a day with a half an hour break, you know, that whole sort of thing, and we'll go into that later on, um, but anyways, um, so that, that state, I mean, it took me like almost 24 hours to get through that entire state, I mean, it was just, it was a nightmare, I... I did not like that state at all. You know, then you got your other states like Indiana. I don't like Indiana. Nebraska. You know, I mean, there's some states I, I'm not a fan of. You know, no offense to any of my viewers or anything else like that. It's just I'm not a fan of them. And if I can avoid them at all costs, I will definitely avoid them and, and stay away and just, you know, all that kind of stuff like that. Um, but anyways, um... So there, there's a lot of ups and downs in this industry, uh, you know, as is, you know, all the other industries, you know, the truck driving, the expediting, um, the hot shots, you know, stuff like that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there um, that, you know, that can go wrong or um, that, you know, it's just, it's just a hit or miss for everything, you know, and, and uh, you just got to take the good with the bad and, and kind of roll with it and, kind of hope out for the best um but anyways uh i've kind of rambled on enough uh, i will try to keep these videos at about 20 minutes a piece hopefully uh we'll see what happens some are going to be live some are going to be you know just 
kind of like this. Um, so, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll probably do my next video will probably be uh, on April 3rd. I'll probably do a live stream on that. Um, and we'll kind of go from there as, as far as, you know, making my way down to Indiana for orientation and stuff like that. Uh, actually, it'll be April 2nd, so it'll be next week, Sunday, uh, probably when my next video is going to uh, kick off, and then uh, we'll go from there. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys like this video, hey, you know, give me a thumbs up. You know, I'm not going to be one to beg for subscribers or anything else like that. I really don't like when people do that. I understand it helps them out. Uh, I'm here just to pass on the information that I get, that I learn, to kind of help you guys out. Um, and it just kind of helps me just kind of waste time, really. Um, kind of gets my mind off, you know, the road. Well, I shouldn't say get my mind off the road. Obviously, i got to be paying attention to the road. But it kind of eases the journey for me. Uh, it does get pretty boring out there, so uh, there might be times I kind of ramble on or say the same things over and over again or stutter a lot like I do. I do apologize. Um, so, like I said, guys, if you guys have any issues or questions or comments, uh, just leave them down in the in the in the in the section below, and uh, we will talk to you guys here shortly. So, peace out.